Kiara Internet. You might remember quite some time ago I was playing around with a new block lock ruler that I got and started making a table runner and a set of placemats and then didn't get them finished. <laughs> and just the way this year has been I haven't had time to actually get them finished or maybe inspiration but I reckon it's time now to get them finished. So I started basting the first of the placemats. This is the one I'm going to keep for myself and I just used the same grey on the back but I'm not sure I've got enough grey to do all of the placemats and the table runner that way and also it's kind of boring. So I searched for a bit to find a fabric I liked that I could use for backing and nothing was really grabbing my attention. I didn't really want to buy fabric specifically for the backing because these are just a little experimental project so I didn't want to spend a lot of money on them but nothing in my stash that was big enough to cover all of them was really right so then I decided I could just make every one with a different backing and a different binding but all in kind of the same theme of fabrics luckily the size I've made the placemats a fat quarter was almost the perfect size for using as a backing and coincidentally there should be just enough fabric in a fat quarter to bind the placemats as well. This is just sort of very much throwing a bunch of fabrics up on the design wall and seeing what I think of it. I don't even know if any of them are actually K-facet, I don't think so. But they're of the same sort of style so they kind of work. Hello parsnips. Do you want to help me, do you? And then for the table runner, obviously a fat quarter's not going to fit on the back of it because it's a lot bigger, but I do have enough grey left that I think I could do a kind of pieced backing with a fat quarter plus the scraps of the grey. That should be enough to do something interesting on the back. It's always nice to have an interesting back to even just things like table runners and placemates. Well, I've put together a pieced backing for the table runner. Strictly those bits of fabric don't really go with the fabrics on the front but there's enough similarities in the colours that they kind of work. I still wasn't sure exactly how I wanted to quilt the mats so I decided to use that first one as a kind of test run to try out a possible design. This design looked good on paper, but once I'd quilted it, I decided it wasn't quite what I wanted. The meander in the background is a bit boring, and it doesn't really make the triangles pop the way I wanted. I do kind of like the quilting inside the triangles. I might do that again on a different quilt, but for this one, it isn't really dynamic enough. It doesn't capture that sense of motion, which is what I really like about the patchwork design. So I went back to square one and tried something a bit different. Well, maybe not all that different. I still used an angular straight line design for the triangles. But this time I made all the angles point in the same direction as the triangle to sort of lead the eye along the quilt.
of meanders in the background, I called it biggish pebbles. They give the background a bit more texture, and it gives the triangles kind of an effect of floating on top of the background. It really makes them stand out, which is what I wanted. so much better. I had just enough scraps left over from all the other backings and bindings to be able to make a scrappy binding for the table runner, which I think came out quite nice. Well, there it is, the finished table runner. I'm really pleased how it turned out. Making all those little circles for the background was a lot of work, but worth it. I think it looks so much better than the squiggles I did on the sample mat. I've got four placemats to go with it. They're actually too big to fit on my table with the runner as well, so even though it's kind of a matching set, it wouldn't be a matching set that I could use on my table. But then again, I didn't really make it with my table in mind because they're not really my sort of colours, so I just made them because I happen to have that charm pack. So I'll probably end up giving them away to someone. I am going to keep the sample one for myself because yeah, having one little place mat, that's, that'll fit on my table. <laughs> and also because because I'm not as happy with the design on it, I don't really want to give it to anyone. So it will be just a, a spare table mat that I can use for myself. I put vaguely matching, though not really matching, fabrics on the back of each one. So they obviously don't match each other, but they're kind of reminiscent of the colours on the front of them. And the bindings too are sort of matching the colours, or at least in the same sort of colour family. <laughs> and of course on the back of the table runner I've got that pieced backing, which I'm also really pleased with. I, I think it almost looks as good as the front. So that's the end of my very long block lock experiment. <laughs> did take a very long time to get to this point, but that was just because I'd set them aside while I thought about what I wanted to do next and then other things got in the way. At least they're finished now. Don't forget to do all those nice internetty things like liking and subscribing and leave a comment. Ka kite anō internet.